Hi, I'm Tom Handel with another CTN member highlight, and this time we're featuring, featuring the Cancer Community Center, and because they're going to be doing uh, an event called Cycle for Care. And I'm here with the Executive Director of the Cancer Community Center, uh, Kathy Young, and also uh, Eva Matson, the one of the co-hosts of the morning show at Coast 93.1, where yeah. uh, Coast is also a sponsor of the event. Yes. So thanks for joining us. Thank Absolutely. you. Thank you for having us. Before we get into talking about this very unique event, Kathy, would you share a little bit about what the Cancer Community Center is all about? Sure. Uh, the center is located in South Portland, but it serves greater Portland, really Cumberland County. And, um, and in many ways, it supports the whole state of Maine for anyone affected by cancer. And the reason I say the whole state of Maine is we have a very unique buddy program, which is a match. So if you've been recently diagnosed and I've had that cancer, um, we'd be matched and you could call me and talk through specifics about how to get some support around your cancer experience. So that serves the state of Maine. Great reducer of boundaries for rural folks. It's it's phenomenal program. Um, but locally here in Portland, we offer support groups and uh, wellness programs, education uh, classes, Tai Chi, you know, we really are looking to support the cancer survivor, but also the whole family. It's for those affected by cancer. So your brother, your, your partner, um, coworker, um, they're bereaved, you know, we offer a bereavement group. Um, so, so it's really to the whole community. Yeah, and I, we know that everybody's affected by cancer. Exactly. So As I was just about to the say. audience is large. So how many people do, about approximately do you serve in the course of a year? Oh, thousands. Thousands, and, well, yeah, I can imagine. It's, it's kind of hard to, to track, but yes, absolutely. The bodies, many people come back, many people come for periods of time and then feel like they've had their experience and they've managed whatever it is they need to manage through, um, but then they might come back again and miss some of the folks. So, so you know, there's about five to 700 that we see on a regular basis, and then, you know, there's a natural ebb and flow. But. And now this, this Cycle for Care is one of your annual events is That's coming right. about right That's now. Uh, what, what's it all about? Can you describe it a little bit? Sure. Um, Eva's been in it. I haven't. I'm still fairly new, seven months in the chair as executive director, but um, it is one of our four major fundraising events because the other thing about the center that I forgot to mention is that all of our services are free. So how we do that is we have significant fundraising events like this, and we try to look for the extra spin, the little bit different, and an indoor spinning event in the winter in Maine is something that we think is unique, and people have a lot of fun at, so I'm told, and it sounds great, um, but it's exactly that. Indoor spin bikes in the gymnasium at UNE for eight hours. You can come and you can be like me and just pedal, that's what I'm intending to do. Or like yourself, I hear last year, giving it your all. So um, folks like Eva will call it out and do the real spin class thing. Yeah, I, 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 I did yeah. participate last year, but I understand you've been involved for three years now. This will be right? my third year. Mm -hmm. I do um, some of the hosting, uh, just kind of getting people revved up and ready in between the classes as the uh, instructors switch off. And then um, I also happen to be a spin teacher. So, um, you know, it's definitely in my wheelhouse. Um, and. You know, it's a great way to give back. It's a fun room because it's a mixture of people. Some people may, you know, know me. A lot of people don't. Um, people are nervous. People are excited. Uh, and we get to, A, spread the gospel of the community, a cancer community center, uh, beloved to me personally as a cancer survivor. And, um, and also ha have fun in kind of a unique way. We have a lot of uh, fundraising races and things here in the state of Maine, but um, I, this is one of my favorites. Yeah, I, I was kind of amazed when I first started doing the spinning and I thought, okay, let me pace myself. And then the music started and then it started to be fun. And even though I started to get a little sweaty, I thought, this is really great. And then all of a sudden, it was over. The first right. hour was over. It wasn't quite an hour right. that no, we were going minutes. out of. Yeah. You can stay for another hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, another paying check. for your bike. Right. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> we encourage you. Four hours, you know. You, yeah. And so how, how, how does the money get raised? You were just starting to mention that. Yeah, well, you essentially buy your hour on the bike. Mm -hmm. um, register, you can pledge to go one, two, three, four hours, a whole eight. Um, form a team and maybe do the whole eight with a with a group of three or four. Um, we're going to have, there's food and there's other things going on, information, we're going to have a tribute wall. Um, we might have a masseuse. 
And um, so there's stuff to go, you know, if, you're, if you decide to do an hour, wait, do another hour. But you go online, you register, you decide, you know, what you want to do. And then if you're really keen and you understand and support us, um, you form, form a fundraising page and invite your friends who are too lazy to come out and join you to support your effort. There's a lot. There's a lot. Of, I was impressed. There's a lot of organizations mm -hmm. and groups in those organizations yeah. involved. Who's involved and how much actually do you raise doing this? Uh, we're hoping to, the goal is 30000 Wow. Yeah. Wow. Because it's beautiful. UNE doesn't charge us for the space. Um, it's, you know, all the, the bikes are donated by local corporations, Hannaford, CIEE, Anthem, I'm trying to think of some others, um, local gyms. So it's, it's and, and local muscle is driving the bikes around for us to oh, pick really? them up and drop them off. I love those guys. Um, and so, yeah, it's a wonderful... Community Everybody effort, right? contributes. Every the f lots of food is donated, so there's stuff to eat all the time. Um, so it really is all the money that comes in goes to the center, and all the money that goes to the center supports community programming for free. To and Wisconsin. why did uh, Coast 93.1 decide to get involved with this? And how um, I think Cancer Community Center first came to me because they knew that I taught spin, and um, they were the first call that I got when I was diagnosed. I got diagnosed on the air. Uh, it'll be 10 years this October. So mm -hmm. I was doing diagnosed a mammogram, you know, taking one for the team on the air. <laughs> and um, so my whole journey was on the air. So I feel like, you know, this, uh, you know, I'm truly part of this community. And um, so I said, yeah, oh, I'd love to teach spin. And so, um, and then I was able to bring the station in because we are a female, you know, targeted station. That is our demo. And, um, and that's great because you see you see the young college kids that come in and they're looking you know they're <laughs> they're looking around to see who else is there and then you see teams from companies come in and it do, you don't have to be um, someone who does spinning all the time you know there there is some a little some exercise mm -hmm. you can go really slow like grandma um, or if you do some other kind of exercise how about to change it up for a night for a good cause I mean yeah. you're no one's gonna kick you off the bike no one's gonna come over and turn your little thing up yeah. so you know it really is a win-win and you get to come out and support the Cancer Community Center. I mean, this is a small state. This is not the wealthiest state in terms of money and um, social programs. And I mean, we have this amazing resource that, you know, you need a wig, you need the buddy system, you know, mm -hmm. like you have this cancer and you don't always want to go to a book or go online or something. You know, you have a real, this morning I'm feeling this thing, you know, and mm -hmm. they're like, I get it. Okay, let me, yeah. you know what? You don't realize until you're in that moment how important that tactile awesome. resource is yeah. in our back in, in our backyard and, and they do everything it's a new language you have to learn when you say mm -hmm. you have cancer I have cancer I have my t-cells like, da, 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 da. you know you know the lines and this and clean margins and you're like whoa you know yeah. I didn't sign up for this Rosetta Stone thing <laughs> so having the Cancer Community Center I mean I'll do whatever they ask because I think it is such a valuable resource and I don't think every city is as lucky as we are I imagine I imagine that people are pretty responsive to to uh, to your call because like you're saying not just there aren't so many people pe there are also people who are related to people oh, absolutely. who are, I mean yeah. I, I have cancer in my family I don't know mm -hmm. who doesn't That's right. Right. so uh, yeah, what if, if people are out there they didn't know about this they want to get involved how do they get more information how do they find out about go it? go to our website mm -hmm. cancercommunitycenter.org and look for Cycle for Care. It's on. It's got its own page under in events, and it's actually on the main homepage, Cycle for Care. And it's also and on your Facebook page as well. Yeah, you can, I, yeah. We're your Facebook friends. Become <laughs> come, become a friend. Like the page. Um, so yeah, that, it's right so there. So that you find out what else we're doing. But um, the that's go to the website and sign up online. Um, you could come in and get a registration form if you're old school and. <laughs> We love old school. You mean just drop in on, yeah. on the day of the event yeah. and have it done? Oh, sure. You could yeah. do that as well. Yeah. And, and, They're and not the as guaranteed to get the bike in the hour that you want. So, right. you, so part of online, registering yeah. online is, is indicating what yeah. you want. So cancercommunitycenter.org. And, and it's January 30th, mm -hmm. 4 to midnight. That's a Friday it's a night, Friday end night. of the work week. Yeah. Come oh, yeah, <laughs> a, a fun time. I, yeah, I know it's, bring your, I, that's what I, I think, a team. You yeah. Get your workmates together, go on out. And you're just, you're actually just buying the hours so that if you could just go sit on the bike and not do a thing. That's right. You could but go and you eat your pizza to. on the bike if you want. <laughs> well, who donated all that food, by the way? I remember oh, all the, all the local right. locals, Pat's Pizza and Mr. Bagel and, you know, all the neighborhood. You know, it's it's a really good energy. Yeah. I can attest to that. It's really lots of fun. Yeah. Well, we'll see you there, right? 
Probably. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it will wind up again. There's no since probably. There's Cancer yes. Community Center is a member. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. I've scaled walls for there CTA. You go. <laughs> there you go. But thanks a lot for joining us. I Thank think it'll you. be really oh, fun. Thank I look you. forward to seeing you there. Yeah, we're looking forward to it too.